Hey, this is Eric Lewis, and I want to give you a brief idea of what the UAD Studer can do for some of your tracks when you're making dance music. So what I'm going to do is play for you just my kick and bass group channel. This is where I group all my low end together and then process it all in a group to make everything really tight. So in this track, the bass actually starts at bar number 33, and I just have an 8-bar loop going. So here's how it sounds. Here's how the whole track sounds at bar number 33. And right when I was playing the track with the, the studer was actually off. This is what it looks like. For those that don't know, the studer is a tape emulation machine that can add a ton of warmth and fatness to your tracks. So what I'm going to do is solo the kick and bass. That's without the studer. This is with the studer. tell you what every single button does but basically it has an input and this determines how much signal you want to put in and an output which how much signal you want to get out other people on YouTube if you look around can tell you what all the different con controls do it does have a uh, emulation of the tape wheel spinning. Overall, this is a fantastic plugin, but just wanted to do a real quick video on how it works for people making house, techno, and dance music. Thanks. Have a good one.